Hello, potato. Now, normally on this channel, when I do snacks, I do tend to look for interesting flavors. But every so often, every so often, I do look for healthier alternatives. And that's what we're doing today. Today, we're going to go off the eaten path, looking for healthy alternatives with off the eaten path, snacks for the curious, chickpea veggie crisps. Rice, chickpeas, black beans made with real purple sweet potatoes, which the last thing, not a huge fan of. But still, we thought, uh, you know, try a healthier option, or at least something that pretends to be healthier. Like, we tried those, those cauliflower crisps last year, which, as it turned out, I looked at the ingredients, were actually still potato chips with some cauliflower in them. But I don't think that's the situation here. Looking at them, they do appear to be composed of the things listed on the front there. But let's look at the back just to be sure. Plus, as words, we have to read the words. I also think it's interesting that it's uh, it's it's food for the curious because, or sorry, snacks for the curious, because that's exactly why I bought them. Because I was curious. Hungry for a new adventure? Try chickpea veggie crisps, deliciously different from chips. Packed with rice, chickpeas, and purple sweet potatoes, you'll discover a tasty new take on real veggies. Keep feeding your curious. Off the path, 130 calories, so kind of our standard calorie per serving. 15 pieces, uh, that could be a lot, that could be low. We haven't looked inside yet to see exactly how big these things are, because I'm guessing I'm guessing if I look on the front here, I will see that they are enlarged to show detail. Uh, ingredients, pretty short list. Rice flour, chickpea flour, dried green peas, sunflower oil, dried black beans, dried purple sweet potato, cane sugar, sea salt, calcium lactate, salt, vegetable juice for color, and mixed tocopherous, tocopherous, tocopherous? Is that a hard C or a soft C? Never heard of it, so I don't know what, apparently it's antioxidant. They, they told me what it is, so I guess that's that's all I need to know. So sodium wise, 7% of your daily, which isn't atrocious. Four grams of protein, which also isn't uh, atrocious. 18 grams of carbs. So if you're one of those people who uh, who, who want to eat just meat, that is probably gonna kind of push you away from this. But ah, let's, uh, Non-GMO project verified, I don't care. Made with real veggies, well, I should hope so. I hate when they make them out of plastic veggies. No artificial preservatives or flavors, so they're gonna go stale real fast once I open this bag. Indeed, the sell-by is August, so not super shelf-stable. Let's crack them open and take a look at them. Just an idea how many 15 pieces actually is. And, oh wow, I was, uh, I was expecting from the picture that they would look kind of like little rice cakes, but they actually look more like pop chips, like with just different colors in them. That is interesting. They don't smell like anything at all, like literally nothing. The whole bag's not. I smell like a like a crispy flavor from the bag if I smell the whole bag, but an individual crisp has absolutely zero scent. It smells of absolutely not, not of oil, not of just like rice. It smells of nothing. So that's interesting. How are they? Mm, not super strong. I might probably dip them in like hummus or something, but you know, it's like a maybe a thin, creamy hummus. Well, let's give them a try. So they're definitely not salty or sweet. Kind of a, a deep, I would almost say earthy flavor. Not unpleasant. Not as good as like the uh, the veggie straws that I've tried before. But those also I think have a lot more salt in them than these do. Okay, that time I got like some saltiness on my tongue when I first placed the chip on there that kind of stayed a little bit longer. Still that deep earthy flavor though. Uh, I think I can taste the yam. Maybe the chickpeas. I'm not really getting any of the green flavor of the uh, the normal peas. And of course, rice doesn't generally have all that much flavor. Anyways, I suspect the rice is there as much as anything else to hold it all together. Yeah, they're not bad. They are a slightly healthier option than, say, a packet of Doritos. But, uh, you know, not as healthy as, say, just, you know, eating maybe some carrot sticks or something. But not bad. Worth trying. 
Mm, can't say we'll get them again, but I think these will get eaten. So, hey, they were interesting. They were snacks for the curious, and I was the curious, and now I'm not. Would I try other flavors? Yes, if I saw other flavors, I might give them a try. So I guess not a failure in that sense. But anyways, I hope you found this all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead and give this video a like. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. When we'll presumably go back on the Eaton Path.